In this video, I'm going to review one of the best textbooks for the students of food science and food technology and the book is Food Science by Norman Potter. Hey there my awesome food techies, how are you doing today? I am Arib Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos, tutorials and reviews like this one for the students who are pursuing a major in food science and food technology. So if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. There's a famous quote from a man. He said that if you are an expert in your field, you won't have to run after the opportunities. Rather, the opportunities will come running after you. Now, if you want to be an expert in food science or food technology or the food industry, you will have to take small steps every day. And this book by Norman Porter will provide you a strong foundation to build the basic concepts of food science. Now, food science is one of the best textbooks for any student who is pursuing a major or a degree in food science or food technology. The authors of this book have been professors in the Department of Food Science at the Cornell University in New York. Now, the Cornell University is has one of the oldest department of food science in all over the world and the Cornell University itself ranks amongst the top 20 universities all over the world. So this book has a pretty solid background if you see but Ari, why should I buy it? Why should I purchase this book? And what is the benefit? And is it even worth my 500 rupees? So let me just uh, take this book and uh, give you some, give you an insight in the contents by showing you some uh, by showing you the index so the first two chapters uh, they are the introductory uh, introductory chapters they tell about the introduction of the food science and food technology and they also gave you a glance about the food industry and now uh, the chapter 3 and chapter 4 belong to the food chemistry part they basically tell about the constitu uh, constitution of the food and there is a chapter for unit operation there is a chapter for quality factors now, one of the best part about this book that I love is uh, chapter number 7 to chapter number 11. Now, these chapters talk about how the food is spoiled and how uh, they can, it can be prevented, how the spoilage can be prevented, right? There's the chapter number 7 deals with the deterioration, the spoilage, and the chapter 8 to 11 deals with how that spoilage can be prevented using different methods. Now, this, uh, these chapters are very important from the perspective of an entrance exam. If you are giving in gate life science and you have chosen the food technology as the optional uh, subject or you are giving ICAR net food technology exams, then many questions uh, are formed from these chapters. And uh, the, there's also a chapter for fermentation. There's a chapter for every possible food product out there. There's a chapter for milk. There's a chapter for meat. There's a separate chapter for seafoods. There's also a chapter for fats, oils, related products. Now, one more thing that I, I would like to mention over here that uh, most of you uh, will think that, okay, this book uh, has basic concepts. So maybe it is only for the first year, for the freshers or the second year students. No, uh, let me tell you that this book is not only for the freshers because when I was in the fourth year of my graduation, I referred to this book and I read the chapter number 14, meat, poultry, and eggs. When I was in third year, I read the chapter number 17, seedal grains, legumes. So you can see that this book is not only going to be helpful for you in the first or second year, but this book is also going to provide you uh, some reference and some insight even in your whole graduation, even in your post-graduation. I refer to this book even now. So, and further it has a chapter for vegetables and fruits. There's a chapter for beverages that I recently read and there's a chapter for food packaging and there's also a chapter for food safety risks and hazards and uh, all over there are 25 chapters given the book is about 600 pages and one of the best part about this book i like is it is versatile it has covered most of the food science concepts and it has covered the basics of food technology and the food industry Although this book has covered all the concepts, most of the concepts of food science and food technology, but I personally think, in my opinion, that this book could also have covered the concepts of food engineering and it could also have covered a chapter on the recent developments in the food industry. 
but uh, that would have made this book more bulky and more heavier uh, given, given that this book already has about 600 pages. So for now, you have been granted an apology, Mr. Potter. When I was a fresher and I was attending my first lecture of food technology, our faculty, our professor, Dr. Ashish Mohite, he advised us that whenever you are appearing for an interview and just out of the blue, the interviewer asks you that uh, which textbook you have referred to, which textbook you have studied in your graduation or your post-graduation, then always reply with Food Science by Norman Potter. Now you can realize the gravity, the influence this book has not only in the academics but also in the food industry as well. It is said that a lot of food professionals in the food industry still refer to this book. A lot of faculties, and most of the faculties and most of the professors refer to this book because of, this, because of its versatility and the coverage of the basic concepts as well. And this is why I highly recommend for you to study, to read this book, to understand the concepts in this book, to build a strong foundation of the basic concepts of food science and technology so that you can build an expertise in the food industry and in the academics of your college. So this book is usually available in the college libraries, but if you want to buy this, I will put a link in the description down below. You can go to that link and buy this book online from Amazon. So this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have read this book already and how was your experience with this book and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you. See you soon.